Hi everyone, welcome to Mamie's Craft Basket. Tonight we're going to chalk, a, uh, we're going to ink one item and chalk one item. Um, I found this etched um, tray when I was sorting through some stuff the other day. I had it on my makeup table um, and that's what it's for. It's to set like your perfumes and stuff in. Um, it's already I did not etch it, but it's very pretty. But I thought I would like to add some words to it. So I'm going to add Hello Gorgeous to it. Now, before I do anything on glass, I always take an alcohol prep pad and I wipe everything down with it, wherever the stencil is going to touch. So I've done that because that needs time to air dry. So I've gone ahead and done that already, and I think it's dry. Yeah, it looks dry. So I'm going to take, I still got sprinkles everywhere. I'm going to take my transfer and fuzz it. A couple of times because it sticks really, really hard to, um, glass and you don't want to be yanking on your your stencil your transfer to get it off because that'll make it curl and stretch it so you don't want to do that so okay i'm going to stick the hello uh, maybe if i turn it around i'll get it more even the first time i'm going to stick the hello up in this corner Now, see, I have something under my stencil because there's a bump there and it's not a, a bump from an air bubble. It's a piece of grit or something. So we've got that all down. Now, I debated whether I should do this in black or I have a blue and a peach colored um ink now and i thought the black would stand out the best on this so i'm going to try it with black and where it's glass i can wash it off if i don't like the black and try it with something else but i think i'm going to go with the black I just need to fuzz this one as well. It's the first time I've used either one of these. I got some new stencils yesterday, so I have some Easter stuff now. And um, yeah, I think it was all having to do with Easter and spring. I got spring words and flowers and stuff, so those will be fun. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them on yet. And some of those are very like um, build a bunny. It's very layered. That'll be a, a time consuming one um, to do, but I think I'd like to do it live. But we'll um, we'll see. I know I do a lot of fast videos, and I really need to to maybe get into doing some longer time consuming ones because you can take your time doing this um, and really expand or you can take a little bit of time it's it's totally your choice as to the time you want to spend doing a project and I figure on here you guys probably don't want to hear me yak for an hour or whatever so i tend to do shorter ones but i'm thinking maybe we're advancing enough that we could get into some more difficult um not difficult just layering so it's time consuming because you have to dry it in between and stuff so oh, my hair is in my face i never wear my hair now 
So this is what, hi, Sheila. This is what it's looking like. So I'm hoping that this comes out. I have never inked on a previously etched thing, but I just thought this tray was really unique and um, I've had it for a long time. So I just thought it would be really kind of fun to try something new and do this antique tray. I can't wait until summer antiquing comes around. I'm going to spend a lot of time at antique stores, I think, and um, picking up things to ink or um, chalk. Okay, we got the first word done, so let's pull that off. How are you tonight, Sheila? You know, Sheila, we need to get you. You're our biggest supporter. We need to get you signed up so you can start having fun. See, there's the hello. Now let's see what the gorgeous comes out as. I intended to do a lot of crafts today, and I didn't get to do any. I was working on getting my catalogs or my full of my binders organized that I use so that people can pick their stencils and cutting up the new stencils and adding those in. So that took me longer than I thought it would. But I wanted to get it done. My granddaughter's coming over tomorrow to chalk with me for the first time. So I wanted all the transfers organized so that she could pick what she wanted to do easily. supposed to get snow again tomorrow so I'm hoping see that's bleeding through right there I can see it but I might be able to clean it up we shall see like I said this is on glass so I can always wash it off it's not like on material that you can't wash it. Oh, you really should try it, Sheila. It is so much fun. And and not it's time consuming as I expected it to be either, which is kind of nice. I actually have evenings to spend with the family. Now I'm trying to decide if I should wait till that dries and scrape it off. And this is what it looks like. Can you see that? I don't know how to hold it so that you can... The hello's up here in the corner. 
Wow, this is not working, is it? <laughs> see, hello, gorgeous. I hope you could see that. Oh, thank you. She said she loves watching me. I try to get outside the box a little bit. Um, I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I've always kind of been that way with my crafts. It's kind of fun to just experiment. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Well, I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. And then I can do the couple little touch-ups. Oh, look, you might be able to see it better if I hold it up. Let me hold this board up. And then I'll hold this up so that the black shows through. Maybe that'll help you see what it it looks like. What do you think? I'm happy with the way that came out. I did not do the etching on the back. This is an old piece that um, I'm thinking either my mother-in-law had or my um, husband's aunt had. Or maybe my mother had. I don't know. But it was it set on my dressing area where my makeup and stuff is or my perfume and stuff is for years and I remodeled that whole thing with some products that I had left over from my last company so I did decided to do it that way hey Ruthie how are you tonight okay the other project that we're gonna do we've done the inking so now we're gonna do some chalking and we're gonna have I'm gonna chalk this have courage to be kind. So the first thing I have to do is ink it. I mean fuzz it so that it will stick to my board but not adhere so hard that it won't come off. Well, I spoke to one of my friends today and she was asking, I don't know if you guys can see that there is screening between the in the areas that are open. Those are not just open um, lettering. There's real fine screen in there. And that's what gives you your nice crisp lines. She was asking about that. Um, Cause she couldn't tell. I should have got a bigger one of my stencils that shows it more clearly. I'll remember that next time I do a bigger stencil. Just even. Now remember, when you're doing it on these five by seven boards with bases, you want to make sure that when you put it in the ba the base, that it doesn't cover up your design. So that's why I went so close to the top is I wanted to make sure that my design So let's see, what color should we use? How about Teal, is that a pretty color together? Coral and teal. So I don't want it too dark because we're doing it on the black chalkboard. At the same time, I don't think I want it too bright. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, let's do the coral. Let's do the the teal first. Get it all mixed up. 
I use teal a lot. I better be ordering me another one. It's a little dry, so let's add some water in. That's the nice thing about the chalk couture paste. If they do dry out a little bit, you can just add a spritz of water. Now I'm actually going to do this, I think, in two sections. I'm going to do like half of it and then let it dry. Um, you know, pull it up and, and dry it so that I can take a little bit more time. I've never done that way. So we'll try it together. And I think the teal is going to be the what would be the greenery. And that's why I want to do like half. Because I want to take time and do the, the greenery separate. From the wording. I guess I could do all the greenery... And then take this off, dry it, and then put it back on for the words. But I'd be worried about getting it placed where I want it to be. Like I said, I have no idea if this will work doing it this way. But I just thought it was worth a try. Okay, so let's get the coral. You guys are quiet. I'm going to try to do this without getting it on the greenery is going to be a task in itself. Hey, Ruthie, got a lot of snow where you are? We don't have much left after those downpours the other night. In fact, my icy road is all dirt now. which is wonderful. I know my daughter-in-law is more comfortable bringing the baby and when she's not sliding down the hill backwards. Trying to make sure I get all the lettering good. And don't leave a lot of lines in it. Okay, I think that's good. So, let's pull it up. From this end, remember when you pull the stencils off, you need to pull evenly so you don't stretch them because you stretch the screen and it won't lay flat again. And it also, yeah, see that dried out already. So I am going to put that back down exactly where it was, hopefully. And I'm going to try something else that I heard about. 
And that's where you take a, a wet paper towel. And lay it over the area that you want to keep damp. So I'm just going to lay that over there like that and finish the board and see if we can't salvage where that was pulling off. Okay, let's finish the board and we'll see what we've got. This is on a couture board, so it can always be washed off and done again if we're not happy with it at the end. Hey guys, if you like what you see on here, can you please share and, and help your friends hear about this awesome product and company? I'd like to grow my customer group so that there's more people on the lives. And the way to do that is for everybody to share my videos. Or to invite their friends. Don't just sign people up to the group, but um, you certainly can invite them. I don't want anybody in the group didn't ask to be here. One, it's against Facebook rules. And two, if they didn't ask to be here, they probably aren't going to be happy here. So I'm just going to ask you to invite them, not add them. But if you share, share, share the video, that'll help as well. Now let's do the rest of this here. The chalk paint dries very fast. It's usually completely dry in five minutes. Um, that's why on a detailed thing, it takes a little extra thinking to get it to stay wet enough so that when you pull off the transfer, you're not pulling off the paint that dried into the screen. At least that's the goal. And this vines are so close to the Um, wording that I'm trying, I'm having difficulty not buttoning them up against each other. So I'm taking a little bit more time than I normally would want to, I think. We gotta pull that off there. Yeah, now see this side over here is dry already. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to throw that one away. And I'm going to get another one and lay it the whole thing for just a moment and see if we can't salvage. So it won't pull off when it's can only try right we learn together these are all one of a kind originals no you'll never see another one just like it so let's lay that oh, we didn't even get it all wet let's lay that down did you guys hear about the um the club I'm getting going. It's called the Holiday Club. And it's where 
you buy one of the big frames and we decorate it um, for whatever holiday it is now. And then when you want to change it out for the next holiday or, you know, whenever you want to change it out, it's only, it's $10 to change it out using my um, transfers and ink. Um, and then you can just use the same board over and over. Okay, let's see how this works, guys. And that way, you know, a lot of people don't have a ton of spots in their home to hang frames. But that way they could have whatever the season is. And, um, oh, it didn't come out bad. Um, whatever the season is in a prominent place and use that same frame. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I'll put your name down and let you know when we start in it. I'm also trying to get a group together to do a Zoom live where you guys would pick your stencil. Um, it'd be nice if we all did the same stencil, but we don't have to. And we get on Zoom. You get all your supplies. I'll send them to you. And um, we get on Zoom and we do it together. You work on yours. I work on mine. Um, I just thought that would be really fun. So, yeah, that didn't come out too bad. Yeah. It's pretty. I like it. It's kind of distressed looking, but that just makes it look older. So, there are... Let me grab my other project that we did, and I'll grab the board so you can see it, too, because we have a few more people on here. This is the first one we did tonight. I did not do the etching. I just did the wording. It's the second one we did tonight. Let me get it so, I, so you can see it. There you go. And that's the second one we did tonight. So don't forget, guys, if um, you want to join into a live chalk together, let me know. That would be a good way to try it and see if you like it. Um, if you really love it and you want to get 40% off everything, please join my team. Um, and you'll get 40% off everything. Let me know, too, if you're interested in... Oh, it didn't move this down. Um, if you're interested in doing the holiday special with me, I'm gathering a list of people for that. Um, and as usual, share, share, share. Let me see what you guys have been saying, because it didn't scroll up. I didn't know you were saying anything. We do need to get together soon, Ruthie. I would love that. <laughs> You're watching me be an artist. I'm not sure I'm an artist, Sheila, but thank you. Oh, you are in Alza. Oh, great, Ruthie. You should have a chalk night. That would be fun. Hi, Rose. You can't share it from a closed group, but you can go to, um, I did this on my group, but I will be moving it over to um, Let's Get Chalking with Mimi. It's my business page, and you can share it from a business page. I usually do them from the business page. Um, but I find I have more people hopping on when I do it from this. Um, if I could get you guys all over to the business page, then I could do it live from there, and you just hit the share button. It would be easy. But check out Let's Get Chalking with Mimi. It's a page versus this is also Let's Get Chalking with Mimi, but it's a group.
Thank you, Rose. Yeah, just um, send me a PM, Ruthie, and we can get together and set up a time to do a, a live home workshop. Um, I can show you what you have to pick from, and you can get a few friends together. I don't have a minimum amount. I do private one-on-ones, or I do groups. Um, I'm doing one here in Franklin at the library once a month. Um, so, and sometimes that's going to be one or two people, and sometimes it's going to be, you know, five or six or eight or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'd love to do one with you and your friends and family. <laughs> Rose said she finally made it to a live post. That's because I normally do them on my business group. Because that way they can be shared. They can't be shared here. But I get more interaction here. So I'm trying to figure out how to move it over there. So you guys all hop on over there. And you'll get notified when I'm live. Okay. Uh, any other questions? We have a new catalog coming out soon. I'm so excited. S some of the consultants have already got theirs. I have not. Um, I've got new transfers already. Um, I counted them up today. I got like 80 transfers to pick from. So there's plenty of variety. So if you live locally, let me know. We can do a, a private workshop for you and your friends. You know, within an hour or two from me, um, we can do Zoom ones. If you live further than that, um, and we can have a good time. All right, guys. Remember to share and have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.